last 20 years, comic books and graphic novels have been the preeminent go-to source material for Hollywood blockbusters and streaming service multi-episode television shows. Now we can thank the X-Men for hitting big at the box office back in the summer of 2000 for that. And while the films are cool, the books are always going to be better. Hi, I'm your host, Garrett K. Jones, and this month I'm giving you my top 10 graphic novel recommendations. Hey, happy Saturday everybody. Welcome to the very first vlog of June. We are just nine weeks away from Author Awareness August and eight from the final video of July where I will be showcasing all of the fabulous authors I've lined up for the marathon of interviews. But before that, we've got several great segments coming up. I've got two great interviews with Stephen J. Galgan and Ashley Greathouse. I've got two more fantastic writing tips for you to close out Creator's Corner and I'm closing out my forming fantasy series about the island province of Farfell by talking about the creatures of Farfell and the artifacts the book's protagonist finds during the story. Podcasts are like the new radio shows, and one of my personal favorites is the Tizzy and Wayne Coffee Show. Tizzy and Wayne report on and interview a variety of indie creators from musicians to authors to artists. This is the perfect show to listen to when you're sipping your morning coffee. Subscribe to the Tizzy and Wayne Coffee Show, available on all major platforms. I highly recommend checking out the Tizzy and Wayne Coffee Show. I highly suggest the first four episodes, especially if you want to hear a great, candid interview with a fantastic author. You can also follow up with my podcast. The season four finale aired on Monday, and you can get caught up by going to anchor.fm slash gkjpublishing. So this list was actually generated several months ago, actually almost a year ago, during an interview on the Anchor Pete YouTube channel. You can check out that video by clicking on the card right up here or by finding the link down in the video description. During the interview, I mentioned how I did my undergrad in creative writing with an emphasis on comic books and graphic novels. And I'm adding a bit more detail to why I made my choices in this video, seeing as it is an update. I also considered wearing a different comic book themed t-shirt for every scene that I was filming for this video, but it was late when I started the filming process and I decided not to do that. Hey, it's my channel, I can do what I want. So, let's do this. Starting with number 10 is Batman vs. Predator, published in a joint venture between Dark Horse Comics and DC Comics. Written by Dave Gibbons and drawn by Andy Kubert, this title pits the eponymous characters in a death match extraordinaire. The Predator arrives in Gotham, and after killing a pair of prize fighters, he decides Batman is his trophy of choice. The events depicted in the book are not canon, meaning they do not impact the rest of the individual series. Number 9 is Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2 Revelations, written by J. Michael Straczynski. Fresh on the heels of Spidey's defeat of the immortal Morlin, who was feeding on Spidey for his totemic energies, this book explores what happens when someone very close to Peter Parker discovers his superhero identity. This book is also on my list because it includes the 9-11 issue, which honors the tragedy of that event in a way that is beautiful and heartfelt, and only the way that Marvel can do it. At number 8 is Watchmen, written by Alan Moore drawn by Dave Gibbons, and slowed way the hell down when it was adapted into a movie by Zack Snyder. 
Here's a little secret. If you filmed all of the slow-mo scenes in regular time, the run times would be severely more manageable. But this book does perfectly encapsulate the truth of what happens when superheroes and costumed crime fighters exist. It paved the way for more recent series like The Boys and Invincible. Next up at number 7 we have Batman Year One, written by Frank Miller and drawn by David Mazzucchelli. The basis for Christopher Nolan's 2005 Batman Begins, this book details Bruce Wayne's initial foray into becoming the Dark Knight caped crusader that we all know and love today. At number 6 we have Fathom, written and drawn by the late Michael Turner under the Top Cow imprint. Turner was a wonderkind of comic book talent. The man was more than halfway through med school when he decided to drop out and become a comic book writer and artist full time. His art style significantly influenced Top Cow's production, including their publication of such titles as Tomb Raider and Witchblade. Fathom focuses on Aspen Matthews, an oceanographer and marine biologist, who learns that her own origins are closely tied to an underwater alien race akin to the lost continent of Atlantis, but from outer space. In at number five, we have Origin Wolverine. Written by Paul Jenkins and drawn by Andy Kubert. This was the definitive history of Wolverine before he became the lovable knucklehead that we've all come to appreciate. It also specifically detailed the fact that Logan's claws weren't byproducts of the Weapon X uh, adamantium bonding experiment. They were bony growths inherent in his natural mutation. The ironies of Wolvie's adolescent life and his personal habits are on full display in this book. Number four is Haunted Night, written by Jeff Loeb and drawn by Tim Sale. In fact, this book is the first of three Batman titles created by these two masters of Dark Knight canon. Batman must face his deepest fears on Halloween night as he works to defeat Scarecrow, Mad Hatter, Penguin, Poison Ivy, and the Joker. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. For number three, we have the next book by Loeb and Sale, Dark Victory, which puts Batman through the ringer as he tracks down a new serial killer stalking the streets of Gotham while training a new sidekick. Bats is still new to the crime-fighting gig, so there are still some mistakes being made on his part. It's also the official sequel of my number two pick, which is The Long Halloween, which follows Batman trying to stop the holiday killer whose psychotic murder spree is terrifying even the most dangerous of Batman's rogues gallery. The story covers an entire year of crime fighting, with murders targeting specific members of Gotham's underworld. Before going any further with the video, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos. You can select notifications for all videos, or you can select notifications based on your preferences. If you're watching on your phone, be sure to update those settings inside the app itself to get the most out of your viewing experience. Finally, for the number one spot is Batman Hush, written by Jeff Loeb and drawn by Jim Lee. This book focuses on a massive conspiracy to destroy Batman involving all of his enemies. Those closest to Batman aren't untouched by this, even those who were lost in Bruce Wayne's personal vendetta on crime. I recommend reading this book rather than watching the bastardized animated movie put out in 2019. Hey, thanks for watching. If any of these titles interested you, you can find their ISBN numbers located down in the description box in the order in which they were revealed. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe because that is how this channel is going to grow its viewership. If you're able to do so, please consider becoming a channel supporter by heading on over to patreon.com slash gkjpublishing where you'll have access to support tiers of one, three, five, and twenty dollars. Each tier comes with its own sweet perks access to my blooper reel, plus you get recognition during the final video of the month. Check out the merch store on Teespring where you can pick up shirts, mugs, phone cases, and more. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GKJ underscore publishing. Buy the merch, snap a pic, 
link me in the post with the hashtag 5 Kingdoms Merch. And if you do that, I'll feature those photos in a future video. Thanks for watching. The vlog of the Five Kingdoms is filmed without the use of a live audience at Skyrocket Studios in Hanford, California. We can't do what we do without your help, so please make sure to subscribe by clicking the button that's above my head, and make sure to watch and share the videos over here to my left. Have a great week.